Today we want to explore the northwest of the island and particularly Guia, which is known for its unique flower cheese, Flor de Guia. And later we want to visit the one and only coffee plantation near Agaete. We asked locals where we could find the best cheese here on the island and the recommendation was La Bodega, which is a famous corner shop here in the old town of Guia. This cheese is made with a mixture of cow's and sheep's milk. The use of animal rennet and vegetable curd obtained from the thistle flower is what makes this cheese different to all other cheeses produced on the island. The family owning this beautiful bodega is producing this artesian flor de guia cheese already for four generations and it's still handmade with no machines. This is the owner and that's her father who is apparently quite famous around here. That was amazing! We absolutely loved it. Absolutely. So I did not expect that. Like we were searching for cheese shops and stuff, but to find such a beautiful place, I did really not expect. So and Very special now experience. we are going to search a coffee roastery. Because apparently a little bit closer to the west coast, they grow their own coffee and they have coffee roasteries, also a very local experience. Mm -hmm. And I hope that we can find something similar that we can actually taste and like maybe meet the, the people who make it. So let's see. Oranges. This is coffee. Hola. 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 Uh, wanted to come to try coffee, if that's okay? Yes, here we used to do a tour. We walk around 15 minutes in the station. What a relaxing place, huh? Yes. <laughs> Follow me, please! <laughs> here we grow coffee from more than 150 years ago and always the same variety, Arabica Typica. This plant, this coffee plant, growing up for more than 6 meters, between 7 to 6 meters high. Mm -hmm. But if you check all our coffee plant, it's 2 meter 3, 2 meter 4, but because we cut it, because here we pick it one by one by hand. Uh, you can't go very high. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Look at my size. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Take, pay attention of this. Mm -hmm. This is the stick of the coffee. If we destroy, the next season we lost our fruit in this area. Uh -huh. One by one by hand and leave the stick. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's a lot of work. Okay. Put your hand. <laughs> Stop. 
<laughs> keep in your mouth like a candy. Don't bite it, just keep it. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> Mm. Take the flavor. It's a sweet, um, yeah. sweet coffee, but very mild. D doesn't taste like coffee, right? Not, no. And um, don't eat it because it contains a lot of caffeine. The most important Ooh. you need to know: this is a fruit. Then becoming coffee, in which a process, but first it's a fruit. Sorry, I forgot that I should have given to you <laughs> to try my shot. Sorry. That's okay. This banana gives us a red banana, like red, red. Red, red. I would sure. like this color. Really? Yeah. You don't have it now, but. Uh... Mm, sorry. Here we call platano. Ah. Platano for us is small. If you said banana in Spanish, means the big ones. Uh huh. Look at that. I've never seen banana like this. Platano rojo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going. I have a question for Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, be focused. Be careful. Be, be focused. Be focused. What is this? I it's think... It's avocado. Quickly. Yeah. It's a <laughs> tiny avocado. One kilo of avocado, it's 100 liters of water. Ah, uh, on total? <laughs> In total, yeah. Okay. okay. And we put like a 25 liters of water per day. For, for plants. For, okay. for plant. Where do you take this water from? For dams. Yeah. From the dam, up from in the, the mountains? Yes. Uh, over there, in the, over this uh, valley, you can see like a three big dams. Yes, okay. okay. That's the best tour ever. Well, grapes. Grapes? Mm -hmm. Wow. For me, this is the best view from the farm. I see, yeah. It's because you have a town? Yes, it's like a favela growing from the, yeah. the mountain. <laughs> okay, but the weather here used to be between 24, 26 degrees, not more, not less. <laughs> the apples. Apples. You yeah. Have apples as well, they look beautiful. Look at this. I think they're delicious. Yeah, here. We can pick apple every two times a year. Two times a year? Yeah, oh, twice wow. a year. In the most of the places in the world, it's during one time, or for example in Spain, the mainland, yes. it's just uh, one time after two years. Wow. Do you know the famous cider, El Teitero? The, the type of... Uh... Cider. Cider, cider. Yes, 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 yes. One, one time after two years. Wow. Here, why twice a year? Because our weather, or our varieties, Organic farm. Yeah. No chemicals used here. Do you know what is this? Uh, is it cocky? Yeah, uh, well done. I love cocky. <laughs> oh, she is very good with fruits. Yeah? <laughs> yes. If you ask me, I have no idea. I should ask you more. Uh, this is for the flies. We, should, we used to put uh, Coca-Cola or another sweet drink inside and they prefer uh, soda and fruits like kicks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So you can trick them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Over there, nectarina. A lot With of bees. bees. Uh, oh. We have a, a lot of fruit around the farm to keep the bees closer. Mm, makes sense. Makes sense. This one is the only uh, coffee plantation in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, well, in this place, I mean, because here you can find a small uh, 60 farmers. Mm, 60 farmers. Is it only Gran Canaria or other islands? Now it, uh, they start with some small plantation, but the most famous is Gran Canaria. You can see the difference. Destroy? More, more. How you say quickly in Uzbekistan? Bistro. Bistro, bistro. Bistro, bistro. Bistro, bistro. <laughs> More, 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 more. more. Smell this. And now that one. Oh, this is you a, feel it? This okay. is aromatic. Okay, this thing. is how you differentiate. Yeah. Now it's easy because this becoming black. Yes. And the oh. first is always green. But sometimes it's more harder. I mean, same skin, same uh, color. Yes. 
with some leaf, in some time you can different, not always. Uh, also, avocado here is really expensive in Gran Canaria. Yes. I yeah. recognize almost very. 8 euros per kilo. It's very expensive. Why, yeah. Why is that? Uh, because water and the people per, uh, prefer grow a banana than avocado. Awesome. Banana also drink a lot of water, like a 25 liters of water per day. Okay. But you know, it's really typical for Gran Canaria. Okay. Like another island. I see. Like uh, eight months was nine euros per kilo. Really? Crazy, yeah. Crazy. I do not understand. <laughs> Guys, now is the best time. Yep. It's moment to test a cup of coffee with some Canarian dessert. Okay? Desserts. Desserts, yeah. Oh, very nice. That sounds good. But her. Guys, question. Mm -hmm. What is this? You say, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a fresh fruit. Yes, the but fresh coffee bean. The most important thing is a fruit. Then a fruit. become a coffee, but first is a fruit. Fruit, mm. yeah. This is our process. In South America, they do another process. Less quality. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just kidding. Uh, we dry here with the skin. 20 oh. days to a month drying in our African beds. After drying, we separate with my team and also by hand. By hand. Yeah. Nice. Tomorrow come to help us. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we will. Now we have green coffee and finally this one is roasted. Uh -huh. You know what? Seven kilo of this becoming one kilo of green coffee. Wow. Seven kilo of the fresh fruit? Yeah. It becomes one kilo. Yeah. I guess it loses a lot when it dries, <laughs> right? Yeah, and finally, after roasted, becoming just 700 grams. So Basically 10%. Seven kilos become 700 grams. Yeah. 10% of this becoming coffee. Okay. Smell this. Now, this one is more like a cow. Mm -hmm. And smell. finally, ground is coffee. Yeah, so you need to smell more shots because he's okay. a coffee I'm lover. Okay, I am the coffee lover. Okay, it's your lucky day. So you're lucky. That's why we came here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, I will bring you uh, uh, the cup of coffee, the PT, and also some uh, cookies. I recommend you test first some water, then coffee, and finally a mix coffee and cookies. Okay? Good. And don't put any sugar, trust me. No, I never don't. have sugar, o oh, okay. on, only, only black. Okay, this is for beginners. <laughs> sugar is for beginners, remember that. Um, my recommendation if you come, uh, go uh, during the week. The weekend, it's more busy. Mm -hmm. As also, this is not a really touristic place. This is. Is it? Yeah. Um, if I always said, uh, if you come to the north of Gran Canaria, but I speak some Spanish word, because uh, here not many people speak English. The second language years ago was French. French. Yeah. Uh huh. But your English is very good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> For me, just a little bit because I don't drink much coffee. Yes, okay. okay. After this, some wine, some cheese, some surprises. Michael, enjoy, but first, water. First water. Wa Where's my water? Sorry. First water. Okay. So that's how you do. You do first water, yeah. coffee, and then cook it. <laughs> because we tested some fruits during the tour. I did not yet. He did not. Hmm? He didn't try. What? Uh, fruit. Ah, uh, fruit. Okay. No, I did not. I try did. Fruit. I gave. I took everything. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Not acidic at all, which is nice. Not acidic. Mm. Why is some coffee acidic and some not? Depend of the process. The process of... of, of and, and also variety. Variety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This coffee is originally from Ethiopia, the north of Africa. North of Africa. Yeah, but came here like 200 years ago. Mm. Is, that the, is that the only place on the island where you do coffee? Uh, where we grow, yeah. It's only in this region? In, in, this, in this area, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. If all coffee is like this, then... You would drink coffee? <laughs> I would drink. I mean, 
I don't drink because of caffeine, but it's delicious. It's Without very sugar, anything, it tastes... Very nice, huh? Mm. You taste the coffee. Yeah, not too acidic, not too bitter. It's just the actual coffee because I love smell of coffee when they make coffee, but when you drink it some, without uh, milk or something, it's very strong. But this is comfortable to drink without sugar, no milk. You really taste the, the smell, the coffee, which you usually smell from uh, coffee places. So, it's so you can drink more of this coffee? It's like a decaffeinate. <laughs> no, no. Not decaffeinate. Don't worry about the coffee. Okay. <laughs> Just enjoy. Yes. You don't have this coffee every day, so. I'm just thinking about you. You're thinking about me? About that you, is so because sweet. It's, it's your third coffee and it's a big pot. By yeah. the way. Coffee jam? Coffee marmalade? What is that? Coffee jam. Coffee jam? Coffee jam? Yeah. Oh, you make me so happy. Yeah. <laughs> and try it. Cheese from this village is a, a mix between goat and sips. Yes. And the red is guava. Guava Do jam. You know? Do you know? No, we went to the cheese. Um, uh, yeah. Gu, 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 yeah. Uh, Santa Maria de Guia. De Santa Maria de Guia. Guia. Yes. Yeah. Ah, you been there? We've been yeah, there. Yeah, we just come from there. That's really local. That place. Yeah, it was very nice. A beautiful place. We oh, had a, we had what cheese I cheese there? The best cheese in Gran Canaria are there. So this is coffee jam. Never heard that before. It's very, very warm today. Very warm. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit like a plum. Plum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a mix between apple and, uh -huh. and coffee. Yes, but some people think it's like plum. Plum. I don't taste much coffee. Because you taste a coffee before. <laughs> it's okay. a stronger in the coffee yeah. than here yeah. probably. Good point. But it's I used to eat with cheese at the morning. All right. Okay. I'll follow your advice. And it's the same cheese, those two. Coffee jam with cheese. <laughs> That's the first time. It's not a bad combination, right? Not bad at all. We used to roast in Las Palmas, in the capital of Gran Canaria. If you take the color of this coffee, it's quite different than that one, right? Yes. That's because we do in a machine. This is just to show our customer how the people in this village oh, roast coffee for more than 150 years ago. So mm. that becomes like this? No, that this becomes like, like that. that. Yeah. Ah, so it burns actually? Yeah. How long does that happen? Like how long does it take? One hour. Wow. No, just kidding, it's like a seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah. Two Don't start to remove. You need to, you need to keep moving. You need to keep moving. Yeah, yeah because otherwise okay. it will burn in one place. Ah, good point. Blow, please. What? Blow. Blow. Blow? Yeah. Ah, it's kind of, it's peeling. Yeah. Blow again. It's peeling the, the skin. The skin is flying away. Okay. This is the jam. This is the jam. Coffee jam. Okay, in a few minutes you will see a smoke and oil. This is natural, completely natural. Oil? And yes, oil from the seeds. In that time you will know it's close to be red. Keep it, moving, keep, keep moving. moving. Oh, the wind is helping. <laughs> wind is yeah. helping. It must be like a seven minutes or eight, depends. Bro, again, please. This is so cool, by the Ah, here yeah, they are. Burning. This is the oil? Yeah, they're doing well. Okay, they're getting brown. <laughs> yeah. They're doing well. Now you can put in your CV, you was a professional roasted. Yes! yes. Roasted. <laughs> put this in my bio now. Coffee roaster, yeah. coffee drinker. Cake eater, <laughs> coffee blower. <laughs> okay, it's close to it ready. B 
Do, do you heard the truck, the crack? Yes. yes. It's yes. like popcorn. Yeah. And that's like a smell like coffee right now. Right? That's not smell. Yeah. No? Why is that? Because <laughs> it's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor of the coffee is inside the seat. Oh, ah. right. Ah. You, you will see. Uh, yeah. Once you grind it. I have a surprise for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Love your surprises. <laughs> okay, guys. Check and you can see some oil. You see? Yeah. How it's boiling? Yes. Boiling here, boiling in there. Yes. We see more smoke. Okay, guys. Okay, that answers the question from before. One second. Some mm -hmm. burn, some... This looks like 100 grams, but imagine if we keep four kilos together, finally you find coffee over roasted. Mm -hmm. It's really important to separate to get hot. Thank you so much. That was my tour, but keep enjoying. So how did you like this tour? Wow. That was... Uh... Very different uh, to what uh, I expected. I didn't expect it, guys. It was just 10 euro per person. Such an experience. This guy is Thank amazing. He makes yes. amazing tours. Absolutely. So if you want to learn anything about this island, about coffee or whatever. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Such a nice guy, speaks very well English. And he's from this region actually. And he lives here. He was born here and he lives here. So yeah. very local. And like his tour was really fun. Because yes. uh, generally I don't like tours, but uh, that was really good. That was a very personal, funny uh, and very informative. Like uh, I love coffee, but it's the first time I actually learn about coffee. We spent the rest of the day with our new local friend Mikhail, who showed us around the old town of Telde. Mikhail is also a PDTR practitioner and a good friend of John. In case you haven't seen our video with John, who fixed Michael's knee on Madeira, I'll link it above. Anyway, see you guys next week and please just take a second and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's that little red button. Then you also want to hit that little bell next to it to get reminded of our videos when they go live. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!